Hello guys, so today we are going to do the complete that one independent part 2. This has two categories, so uh, we are going to now read them. The first one is no independent movement but want independence. The two is unrecognized countries. Unrecognized countries means that all countries don't recognize them. Now there are a lot of you and you see I told about part one that Kashmir, Greenland and Alaska aren't count. I give them in the part two. Firstly we have we will go to small to big. So there's the Palestine. Palestine is recognized by mostly the Eastern Hemisphere and United States is an ally of Israel so they don't recognize them. The, the reason for Palestine wanting independence is for their Islam but, but Israel is Jews. Next we have Kosovo and Mountain Ebu. Here as you can see there was written Yugoslavia but Kosovo wants independence because they're in the they were independent in the past and they are not Christian. They're Islam. Same goes for Mountain Ego. That is why they want independence. Unlike it's like Bosnia that is Islamic, but that's why they got independence from Yugoslavia. Next, we have Western Sahara. This is to be a part of Morocco, but only recognized by 48 states. Western Sahara, Western Sahara is used to be a part of Morocco, and its history is, a, is has that Spain colonized this part, and soon when they don't need it western sahara they either give them either have to give them to mauritania or morocco both are french colonies of course and and the mauritania was not taking so morocco took it. next we have french guiana french guiana is and france part france's part because because of the French Empire, this is the leftover from the French Empire. So they couldn't give them independence, but they have two cities actually. Oh, its capital is K K M. I couldn't spell it. Next we have South Sudan. Sud North Sudan, you must have heard, but sometimes it's in United Sudan. It's one of the uh, youngest countries, but some countries only recognize them. We have Kashmir. Why does Kashmir want independence? Kashmir has a lot of problems, especially for the first, uh, first in the Pakistani war and second in the Pakistani war. All was because of pa Kashmir. That is shared between both uh, China, Pakistan, and India. All share this part. So it must cause conflict. Yeah. So they wanted independence because they. They don't want conflicts. Who wants conflicts? Bombings. We have Amazonas. This was the example of the last video. And Amazonas is a huge part of Brazil that is uh, that is located at the Amazon rainforest. That's why you should not give the A S and you get Amazon. Next, we have Siberia. Siberia is a large region of Russia. Russia, because the the uh, Slavic people only stay in the European part, but the rest of the Asian part is called Siberia, except for this last tip that I couldn't get in my hand. So I will just show this one. This is at the Chuk. G C. This is Russian, so I couldn't spell it quick, quickly. And I'm not sure about this name. I just got this idea from Chukchi. 
So I I am not saying this for sure. Maybe this is, this was also an independent state, so they want independence. The, all, all of these were almost from the first category. No independence movements, but want independence. But except for Kosovo, that should be on the last video. South uh, um, Taiwan Republic of China. Okay, this is not unrecognized or anything, but I'm just giving. I'm just telling that most think that they are a part of China. But what is the difference between the Republic of China and the uh, People's Republic of China? People's Republic means they are capitalism but still communist. Communist means one party. But communist capitalism means that their economic system, that means the economic system, that means they are the communists give them to community they will give them uh, equally all the people let's say you earn 25 taka and then in any other one earn your friend earn about 45 taka so they they the you give them to the community they will give them equally to you. But this only happens on only communist countries. Communist capitalism countries are that uh, what you own is yours. You will give them two taxes and you will make your buildings and everything. That's what happens to communist capitalism. But they are one party. That means their government system is communist, but their economic system is capitalism. Taiwan is fully capitalism. That means they have all, all part. Uh, that means a lot of parties, and also uh, the capitalism economic system. This is a lot large because uh, I have to explain what these two ideology have difference, and democracy and and capitalism have another difference. I will make another video of it. This is Tasmania. Tasmania, I think is the difference because of it's an island. It's not connected to the the land of Australia, and instead, it was during Pangaea, they were connected to to the New Zealand. So uh, maybe the animals were from New Zealand, so they could be independent. And what? How big is this island? Everybody should be independent there, all the states. Uh, and this, and now we have the last two ones. This is Greenland, and you must have heard that Greenland wants independence for, for its native population. Greenland. You see, Greenland's flag also says that it's kind of like this. I don't, I couldn't draw it properly, but I could say that that everybody else ha in the Nordic countries have a kind of cross. See, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, all have this kind of cross that represent Christianity, but. In Greenland, not all guy, all uh, not all people are Christian. They uh, they have native population too. At first, there was a cross flag though, but next they changed it into a sun and and two colors representing Denmark. I'm not sure about that. Alaska has some same problems. It's also not connected to the USA and. And it must have different people. They are not the same conditions. They don't live in the same conditions unlike Denmark and Greenland. Those are in the Northern Hemisphere. So they are a little different. So as you could see in the North Pole there, Alaska only is in the North Pole. But the mainland of the US is not.
so it has many differences about it and this is the end of part two bye bye guys